So, lads, there, lemon juice. Let's go. This isn't going to be good. There we go. We got our shot in. Three, two, one. Oh, that's minging. <coughs> oh. Oh. oh, that's actually disgusting. Like, I like lemon juice with like pancakes and stuff, but that's just disgusting. Ah, oh. no, don't do that. I mean, it's all right, it kind of goes away after a few seconds, but there's this really strong taste. Oh. Terrible. And now, the Pride of North London objective forfeit. Right guys, welcome to the Chelsea career mode. Um, as you've seen, we've just done the dodgy defence objective uh, forfeit. The shot of lemon juice. <laughs> it was bad. Still got the taste in my throat, it's awful. And now we've got the dodgy defence forfeit. Or sorry, no, the Pride of North London forfeit. Rather than a Chelsea career mode for losing to a London team. So, I guess we better get on to it. Um, change the manager up a bit though. As you'll see. Stuck him in a tracksuit. Changed up his hair a wee bit. And give him a bit of a stubble there, yeah. Might as well change things up a bit, you know. Don't want all the managers looking the same every time we do a career. As you can see, 137 million in the budget. They want us to reach the semi-finals of the Champions League and FA Cup, so that's good. Like, we get Champions League football this year. And we're gonna look into the team. Because first things first, we need to see who do we want to keep? Who do we not want to keep? Um, so here's the crack. It's actually quite a small squad compared to other teams. And the, the, Maybe a few guys in here. There's definitely a lot of dead wood. Um, so here, here's the thing, lads. Cesar Azpilicueta, he can't play right back for me. He's too slow at 29 years old. But we're going to throw him into centre back. Um, for now, we're going to have to throw Reese James at right back. Maybe in the future that changes. I don't know. Now, Williams coming on 30. We'll have to see what happens with him. Mason Mount, I would prefer to play in the centre. And for strikers, we've got a problem. Giroud, definitely not. Abraham isn't really my kind of striker, guys. In fact, the guy I, I rate most out of these guys is Michi Batshuayi. But I, don't get me wrong, I don't think he is a first choice guy. I really don't. So we're going to take Barkley off here. We're going to get Mount on. Um. Honestly, Tamori on the bench too. One thing I will say, we're very good for centre backs. Obviously, I'm going to play Azpi there, but Rudiger, Tamori, Zuma, Christensen. I want to keep all these guys around. It's brilliant. Um, some dead wood towards the bottom here. Loft his cheek. You know, he could be a useful sub. You know, I wouldn't rule him out. Billy Gilmore in there. Of course, he's going to be staying. Likes of Mason Mount too. Um, midfield's not awful looking. You know, you got Kovacic, Kante, uh, Jorginho. Maybe just a case of upgrading. We definitely need um, a right back. I would still say a left back because Alonso's good, but I think I'd use him as a sub. Emerson, I don't rate at all, lads. Um, possibly a backup keeper. You get rid of Cumming. Get Caballero down to third choice maybe and get you know a bit of a better backup. We will need a striker. Um Michi Batshuayi can't be playing all season. That's a fact. And here's the formation I want to play, lads. Um I wanna play the 4-2-3-1, but I think I wanna play it narrow with the cams. We're gonna have Kante here. Obviously, these aren't the players I intend to use. Okay, and we're gonna have to See at the time, um, wouldn't mind getting Mason Mount in there. 
but straight up lads I'm, I'm gonna show you here these are the guys that I am willing to get rid of so coming you can go lad Emerson can go all this dead wood can go Rudiger can stay Tamori can stay Christian Christensen can stay Wakeley can go James is staying Azpe is staying this guy can go and Golo Kante, no, am I joking, lads? He's staying. This is an interesting one. I like Bakayoko. I do. And I might call him back from loan for depth for a bit. Kennedy's a good talent, but I've used him before and I'm not sure. So all these guys can stay. Um, we're going to get rid of the dead wood. Loftus Cheek, I'm not sold on. But I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to give him a chance at least. This guy, Lewis Baker, he looks interesting, to be fair. You look into his attributes, he's got the he's got the five star weak foot. So I wouldn't mind keeping him and you know giving him a chance. Van Ginkle, it's time for you to go, mate. Um these guys all out on loan. This guy Deadwood. Ross Barkley, I'm not a fan of lads. Now this guy for the reserves team is Zaya Brown. You know what lads? I like the look of him. Um, Victor Moses on the inter, Charlie Masonda now, correct me, he used to have mad pace, he's 4 star, 5 star, he's another one I'd consider bringing back here lads, because Pedro, not my guy lads, Hudson Adoy is going to be here, Piazon, nah he can stay out on loan lads, um, <coughs> Broha he can go, Giroud can also go. Marata. Here's the thing, lads. Marata's out on loan. Think of them. We could get 30 odd million for him. I'm going to call him back, but I want to sell him. Now, here's the controversial ones Abraham, I am willing to let go. And William. I'm willing to let go. We're going to list them and see what the crack is. Um, there's a few guys I might bring back and list. You know, I could easily bring back Moses. could easily bring back Pasolic. Didn't even know he played for Chelsea. Danny Drinkwater. Yeah. Pasolic though. There's, you know, 10 million sitting there. Um... Bakayoko I'd like to bring back, so I'm going to bring him back. Zappa Costa can stay out, he doesn't interest me. Now, who is this kid? But, like I said, we're kind of sorted for centre-back slots, so a few guys coming back from loan. A lot of guys going on the transfer list, I won't lie. So, we'll send forward a bit, lads. Um see i'm sure all these guys will react to being put onto the transfer list so yeah um, <laughs> a lot of messages here just guys you know some of them probably happy i think a lot of the guys are happy yep well we've got work to do says or now i think i may as well do this before we sell anybody lads there's one guy, just has to be brought in. He's joining anyway in real life, Hakeem Ziyech. We're gonna shortlist him and we're gonna go straight in for him, lads, because he's already joining in real life. So why would we not? I might have to pay 60 million for him, that would be a shame. Let's try and get him for around 50. Let's see what Ajax are saying. So Ajax. What are you saying to 50 million here, lads? They're saying 84, right? That, that's, that's a bit out of my price range. I'll give you 65. 65. What, 85? Oh my days. That's going to be a big one, lads. 70 million for ZH. They're going to consider it. Right, that's not what I wanted to hear. But he's joining in real life, so we're going to bring him in. 
and he'll fit well into this formation that I want to play. So it's a 1-1 draw in the first game. Um, Rhys James with the goal, not great. Not a great start. So we have a transfer offer for Van Ginkel. I think we're just going to delegate that one out. It's not a big one. Rhys James, block offers. He's not going anywhere. He's going to be a great right back. And... What's the crack? Transfer offer for Alonso. As I said, lads, I want to keep him. This guy probably won't even sell, but we'll accept. They still want 85 million for Ziyech. Come on. Give him, give him to us for 70, lads, at least. Seventy million, come on. Seventy three point eight. You know what? We'll do it, lads. So, yeah, we're we're gonna go for it. Let's go in for the um contract. Um, basically, just a lot of transfers and stuff going on this episode. That's where the first episode always is, lads. He wants to be crucial. Of course he's going to be crucial. Four-year contract. Let's get him on the five, boys. Let's get him on the five. He's happy. He wants it. No release clause. Perfect. Now, ask for your wages. No, of course you didn't. And he's on 38 at the minute. I wonder would he take 50? And 200k sign him. What's he saying? I was going to offer 75, and I didn't, I went 50, so I guess we try in a week again lads, transfer offer, plenty of offers here, can't they not go on, LSP not go on, I'm just going to block the lads and not sell them like, because I can't be bothered, and there is the glitch again, where Alonso gets stuck here apparently, if you go in here, yeah, it get, gets rid of it. That's a tip, lads. If that happens in your career, go into Squad Hub and get rid of it. So, Van Ginkel, 7.1. No, he's worth 8. Bugger off. Come on, give me friggin' like 9.1. I didn't delegate for you to lowball me, like. 9.1. 7.1. 8.3. I'm being nice here. There. Monaco, 8.3 for Van Ginkel. That's more like it. So Porto. Lads, we need to we need to start winning to be honest. Drawing that first game wasn't good. We've lost one now. Oh my word. Gonna go out of the preseason tournament. Now the hope is that Stad Rene lose to Porto. Of course this transfer talks broke down. This kid's well too. I mean, we know for a fact. Strasbourg, are we going out of the groups, lads? I apologise if we do. 3-0 win. Is it enough to get us through, though? You know, how's the goal difference and stuff looking? Oh, we did get through! So, I, w I want to see how that group finished. Our goal difference was two. Um, how'd that final game go? Porto beat Stad Rene 2-0. That helped us a lot. That is really, really important, lads. So, um, we're going to stop. Uh, the game stopped for us. Van Ginkel has been sold. So we want to say Manchester United want Morata. They're saying I can get 45 and a half million. No, I, that is tempting. I want that. I want that 35 and a half million lads. Will will they walk out if I say 50? Will they walk out? Yeah, they <laughs> That's why we brought back Murata though. We're going to get big money for him. Now, it's been a week. Can I go back in for Ziyech? I can. 
I'm gonna straight up offer 60 million lads. Maybe they'll think, yo, what a what a first offer. Let's accept. So I just wanna say 60 million. Now they're gonna negotiate. They're still on this 84 crack like. 70, 85, right. What was it last time? It was like 73.8 or something. They accept it. Right, we're not messing up. What would this say? 140,000. Right? You're going to have to offer this man about 150 grand a week. I think these contracts are a bit unrealistic, lads. So, roll. Crucial, of course. That's what we want. Five years. Sweet. No release clause. Perfect. And he asks for the wages this time. Thank goodness. He's going to take 135k a week. Hakeem Ziyech, boys, is joining the club. Um, we might have to wait a while to sort his number out. Not gonna lie, um, 26, I mean, we might give him something a bit better later. What's the crack with these big numbers? Williams got 10, you see. Yeah, we're gonna be getting rid of some guys. But ZH can go straight into the squad. So, we'll switch Willian out to the right. Stick Pulisic on the bench. And then... Bring in the man himself, Hakim Ziyech. So that is a brilliant signing. I mean, it's a real life signing. It made sense to bring him in, but he cost us a fair bit of money there. Um, obviously, I don't want this episode to go on for too long, lads, but it's just flowing really nicely. We've lost in the semi finals. Disappointing. But then again, I think we won our pre-season tournament with Arsenal. I won an abysmal season we went on to have. So maybe you lose the pre-season tournament. You have a good league campaign. But no, lads, the episode's just flowing nicely. Um, everything's coming together. I haven't really got anything to edit here, to be honest. Um, I might edit something in in a minute. But things are just happening. We've just been going for transfers. We've just been flowing through. And, you know, that's what we want. We have an offer for Pedro. Sevilla. What can I get for him? Yeah, I think like 12 million would be fair. 12.9. Start building back some of that ZH money already. That would be great. So, give us the 12.9, lads. 12.9, you have them. 10.1. Don't be like this. Just 12. 12 million. They accept. So Pedro's hopefully on his way to um, Sevilla, lads. So it's an offer for Barkley now from Milan. They're saying we get around 20 million. I didn't think Barkley was worth this much. I'm not going to lie, lads. I thought he was like a 10 mil player. I'm happy to let Barkley go. We're gonna ask for a wee bit more as always. 25 million. They've accepted, let's go. Barkley for 25 million. Great business, lads. Um, he would never get a kick in this team, to be honest. Oh my, I just seen. Pedro's transfer talks have broken down. Why, like? Ajax want Emerson. Uh, they're saying 17.7, so we'll go in. We'll ask for about 18 million. Um, hopefully we get that. If we do, that would, that would be very nice. So, 18 million. What are you saying? They're stuck on 13. He's worth 10, so give us, give us 15. 15 million for Emerson, not bad. 
Um, I don't really rate him to be honest, lads. I don't think he's a great player. But see, we need some people to sell, lads. Um, I already have two or three more signings in mind, but of course I need money. Everton want Pedro now. I'm going to tell you what I told Sevilla. 12 million and he's yours. He might start on the 12.9 though, just so we can negotiate a bit. I have a feeling they might accept it though. No, they didn't. Right, lads, come on. 12 million. That's all I'm asking for. They accept. Now, please. It's probably because he's 31 and he's earning over 100k a week. Like, it's a bit much. It really is. Barkley has been sold for 25 million. Emerson's transfer talks has broke down. Why? Pedro's finally been sold. So, lads, there is a man I want. It's Danny Da Costa from Frankfurt. Um, no idea what this man's going to be worth. So we're going to approach to buy. I'm, gonna, I'm thinking 20 million or so. You know, he's not too high rated at the start of this. I wonder could we swap someone. I wonder would Emerson be a good swap for this guy. What would they ask for plus Emerson? 5 million. That's not bad lads. I'm going to lowball this. I'm going to say 3. 3 million plus Emerson. 5.4. Let's say 4.3 lads. 4.3 plus Emerson. They've accepted. Let's go. Danny Da Costa going to come in. It's a good move this lads. Um, definitely happy with this. So... He's probably going to be crucial. I reckon he's higher rated than Rhys James. Uh, he wants a three year deal. Let's get him for four. Um, he is 26. So keep him till he's 30. Disregard release calls. He's going to ask for wages. What is this man on? I saw from 80k. He's happy. He's joined. Danny Da Costa joins 78 rated, 10 mil he's worth. You know, it's not bad. We paid Emerson, he's worth about 10 and a half. So, where is he? Let's get him on. Da Costa, look at them. 78 rated, that's good because when you think about it, Chelsea have no right backs. Aspie's not a right back, I'm sorry. So, if we say we label him as a centre back, you then got Reese James. That's it. So Da Costa is a good sign in there, in my opinion. So lads, Monaco coming in for Tamori, and that is a block offers kind of transfer. The Kayo Tamori going nowhere. You know, I'm excited to use this kid. I'm gonna have a centre back struggle, you know, because I like Rudiger. I like Tomori. Alspe's going to be too solid. And friggin' Christensen, he's not bad. He's good enough to keep at the club, and I want them. So Brighton have come in for Tommy Abraham. They're saying we can get 20 million. Surely we can get more than that. They've offered 19. <sighs> right, Chelsea fans are about to kill me here. But I want... I'm willing to sell them. So... Will you give me 30 million, Brighton? No, they're not going to. Will you give me 25? 25 on a 10% sell on clause because Tommy's still young. No. I don't want to mess this up, lads. 23 and a half. If they don't accept this, it's done, like. They have accepted. Let's go. 23 and a half million for Tommy Abraham. I'm just not going to use him, lads. He's just not my kind of striker. I'm not going to lie. Um, I feel like we're really approaching the season quickly here. Leon want William, and they're saying we could get 22 million for him. So let's go in. 
uh, said 22. I'm gonna, I might ask for 30 again, lads. Just because they've offered so high. Okay, they've walked out. Should have offered the 25. But if we can get lads to sell here, I know what I want to do, lads. So an offer for Brown. He's the guy. Oh crap, wait. I don't think I wanted to sell him, did I? Nope, I didn't. Well, guarantee you he'll be the guy that goes. That was a fail. Um, I actually want Giroud. I'm not going to get too much for Giroud. I know I'm not. He's old. Um, he's stiff. He's got 40 odd pace. Not going to do it up front for me, lads. 12 million again. 12 million for Giroud. 8.9. Right, I understand he's old. 10.9. 9.9. Wow. You know what? He's 32 years old. Have him, Ajax. Have him. I don't often sell players for less than they're worth, but, you know. I'm actually... I'm hoping that, that deal for your, your wee lad Brown doesn't go through. I don't really want them. I don't really want to sell them, to be honest. So Abraham has been sold. This guy's talks are broken down. Pulisic wants to play. I'll consider it. I think he might be in the starting lineup. You know. No, he's not. William is. Um. Right. Where is he? I want to try something here, lads. Maybe if I renew his contract. Yeah, I think that breaks down the transfer talks, which is perfect. So, lads. Um, we've reached the opening day of the Premier League season. We have 126 million. Two more things I want to do before I go. One of them, some people are going to be like, why are you doing this again? I wanted to continue the Arsenal career mode because this man was 85 rated at the end of it. He's 84 as it is. And the thought of this man and N'Golo Kante gracing the CDM position together it is a thought, it gives a feeling that can only be described as orgasmic. You know, this this is OP. We won't concede. I'm, I'm promising you. I promise this is the only signing that I made in the Arsenal career mode that I will make in this one. But this man's too good. Wilfred and Dede's coming in. He's going to sit in beside Kante. That's what I thought when I changed that formation. The two CDMs, Kante and Dede, it's perfect. 33 million. What are you saying? They want 50. Understandable. Um, give us 40. Give us 43. What are you saying to 43? They're accepting. Let's go. Wilfred and Dede. 43 million. Let's bring, him, let's bring him to the blue side of London now, lads. He's done a job towards the end of the last career. Crucial player, of course. Absolute beast. I'm gonna give him that five year deal. He does take it. Disregard the release clause. I'm not messing up wages, lads. 120k a week. He's on 86 at the moment. He's surely gonna take it. He does. Wilfred and Dede joining Chelsea. And, you know, 84 rated. He's slotting straight in there. Um, beside Kante, he has two lads. So let's do this. Indeed, so lads, I mean, how good does that look? You know, that's, that's giving me an orgasm just looking at that, lads. I'm not gonna lie. So let's see, what's the crack with numbers here? Like, what's actually available? And Dede's wearing eight. Not bad. See, you know what? Baki Yoga's got that twenty-five. Don't mind that actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep in Dede on the eight. Da Costa six. Who's two? Rudiger. Ah, uh, fair enough. Fair enough. And then I think now though, 
Um, William hasn't left yet. So we'll give ZH 11 for now. We might even change up to 10 when William leaves, lads. Not gonna lie. So, lads, there was a man left in the comments of one of the latest Arsenal career modes, and I think he would be good. Donny van de Beek. Um, definitely a player I'm interested in. Could he lead the way out for Jorginho or Kovacic? Maybe. Possibly Loftus cheek instead, but we cross that bridge when we come to it. He's a player I'm interested in. Um, he's definitely one that I think would be good to have. Um, if you want me to be honest, lads, I think this Chelsea team is coming along better than the Arsenal team did. So 30 million, let's not offer 20. Don't want them to walk out already. We're saying 48 with 10%. You know what, Ajax? You're, you're not you're not going too high and I like that. 35, they're saying 50. And um, I can see another way 43 coming up, lads. They're gonna get back to us. But lads, the Premier League, we've hit the opening day and it's against uh, United. I believe it was, yes, against United. So that's something we're gonna look at in the next episode. So I want to sort my bench out, to be honest I don't even know what way I want to sort it. Definitely need Jorginho on the bench. We'll take, in fact you know what, that's, that's the team I want to play lads. So we're putting Hudson and Doi on, put these guys at the top, because um, they're likely to get used. Um, even Brown I'm excited to use at some point, William's going to go. Sonda might get used. Baker, good chance. But yeah, lads. So at the minute, Murata is the striker on the bench. I'm happy to use Batshuayi in the starting lineup until we get someone better. I do have someone in mind. And then we also need to look at a left back and a backup goalkeeper. And after that, lads, I'm happy enough. Pulisic might be the next low ball kind of player in the team. Kovacic, maybe not really a cam, but we've got Van de Beek hopefully coming in. If it comes to it, we throw Mason Mount in there. We never know. But all that drama for the next episode, lads. Hope you've enjoyed the opening episode of the Chelsea career mode. Hope you've enjoyed the forfeits. And I'll see you again next time, guys. Cheers.